Allowing underperformers to remain on the payroll is a form of dishonesty that harms the entire organization. Yet managers claim giving underperformers negative feedback, either to help them improve or to warn them of the consequences of not making changes, is one of the toughest conversations they face. As a result, those conversations often just don't happen. Here are five good reasons to motivate yourself to have those conversations, even if they feel uncomfortable. The first reason, poor performers learn not to trust you. Continuing to pat that poor performer on the back and grant them raises doesn't square with their own reality. They know their work doesn't meet standards. They know it doesn't match what their colleagues do. If you don't tell the truth about how they perform, how can they trust you to tell them the truth about other things? The second reason, good performers will grow to distrust you. Other employees know what, what and who isn't pulling their weight. When they're all treated the same and they all receive the same feedback, despite the refrain, we reward people based on performance, the good performers discount other promises as well. Trust dips even lower. They trust you and they trust the organization and the leaders only when they get the truth. The third reason, your stress will grow and it may turn to anger. As the manager of a poor performer, you will inevitably grow more and more stressed by the problem that their incompetence creates. Just like a bruise that won't heal, the underperformer holds you back from peak performance in all these new projects. The fourth reason, poor performers will consider you unfair and they'll spread the word. If you fail to communicate the hard truth all along the way and the underperformer for some reason lacks self-awareness self and you get to the proverbial end of the rope and you end of your rope and you have to terminate that employers that employees in employment they'll be shocked they'll be dismayed in fact don't be surprised if they let everybody know on their way out that you gave them no warning about poor performance reason number five Building a case backward isn't the goal for coaches. Far too many managers wait until the boiling point, until the incompetent employee has the entire department in a dither, and they're at the point of dismissing that employee from the job. Then, and only then, they realize that there's been no discussion and no documentation. Back to ground zero with the goal to build a case to substantiate the poor performance for legal reasons. At that point, the attitude for change and the improvement is all wrong, usually for both parties. So there are five good reasons to communicate your truth and expectation for change early, often, and clearly.